Howdy folks, my name is Ronnie. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be going over the product that I've purchased recently as a relatively new Pokemon investment person. I buy sealed product, I hang on to it, I wait for it to retire, and then I resell it. I've been in the Lego business for a long, long time where I buy a Lego set, hang on to it for a couple of years, and then flip it on down the road. Looking to do some quicker flipping as it relates to the world of Pokemon. Uh, once again, I'm brand new at it, so if you guys have any feedback as to the stuff that I should be looking out for, or if I got any pickups that you think that I did really good on, let me know that in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get into everything that I picked up for sealed Pokemon investments this week. I should also say that these videos, this is not the first one of these that I've ever filmed, but these videos used to live on my other Pokemon channel, I am Pokerani. But I'm moving them over to Sold by Ronnie because I think that they just make more sense because they are about investing and trying to earn money by selling stuff online. So first thing to share here, I love buying stuff on whatnot. You can always find steals and deals on there, people that are just looking to get rid of stuff essentially. And typically the stuff sells for well below what it's going for on the market. I will have a link to my uh, whatnot user invite thing that if you accept that user invite, you're going to get a free $10 to spend on whatnot. I get a free $10 as well, so it's a win-win. Uh, but yeah, I'm always scouring, trying to find some deals of stuff that I could quick flip on there. And I found this little brilliant set. It's an older one, so um, Mars Shadow Figure Collection. I know nothing about this. I see Crimson Invasion. I see Steam Siege. I see Ancient Origins. I see a figure. I see that this box is currently going for $70 uh, shipped on TCG Player, which is a website that I use to sell individual Pokemon cards. But you can also sell uh, sealed stuff as well, and I only paid $40 for this, $40 shipped, so I can quickly turn this around and make $20 just like that, or I could feel a little spicy and hang on to it for a little while, but yeah, always steals and deals to be had on whatnot, make sure that you check the link in the description and that you get on there and bid against me on there, because I'm finding great stuff on there all the time. I got into collecting probably around January of this year, and I missed Champion's Path, that was a set that came out I want to say maybe 2019, a uh, very, very well thought of uh, set. The ETB does come with a promotional Charizard card, which is not highly valuable because they are super common. They were in every single one of these ETBs. But I wanted to grab this just because it's only going up from here. I was kind of disappointed to see that we do have a little nick in the plastic right there. Um, some super collectors will ding the value of this just because of that. Uh, but still, I got this for ninety dollars uh, with shipping and everything, and that's that's well below market of actually what this is selling for. And I would imagine that I would be able to hang on to this for even just six months, and I'll probably be able to sell it for double of what I paid for it. But uh, one idea that I had, I keep track of all of the investments that I have in this little spreadsheet, and I think very soon, maybe in like not the next video, but the video after that that I'm going to put out, I am going to go through there, and we're going to look at have my investments paid off already because, like I said, I've been doing this for a couple of months, so I think it would be kind of neat to just go into the spreadsheet, see where things are at, and see if I've actually made a profit on any of the stuff that I've picked up. And maybe that will help influence some of my buying decisions in the future and help you guys out as well. Got another giant Funko Pop to add to the collection. We've got the Mew here that we bought a couple of weeks back. I found three of these Laprases in Target, and I picked up all three of them because they were running a buy two get one free promotion. Uh, so that put the cost down to each one of those Funkos to $20, which is fantastic. I actually just sold one of these on eBay today for $40 plus shipping. So I already doubled my money on one of them. Maybe not quite doubled with fees and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I don't plan on opening this. I don't really have any sentimental attachment to Lapras like I do to my Mew. I love my Mew. I've got one that's open and upstairs. So I've got two more of these to sell, but yeah, 20 bucks a piece, can't go wrong. Found this V Union Mewtwo box at Walmart yesterday. I was really happy to see it. I bought one of these for my collection many months back, and for some reason I was just like snoozing on this thing. Like, it's it's doing so well uh, already, the value of it. I think it's up around like $45 on TCG. This was 30 bucks at Walmart. It does have a little squishy squish box damage, but I don't think that, I, I don't, I don't know that box people are as, like, I come from the world of, again, sealed Lego investments. So, you know, you get a box like this that's, like, highly collectible, beautiful. Lego box people are a little bit, I wouldn't say crazy, but they're they're passionate. They're passionate about their boxes. They want them in good condition. 
I think that as long as the cards are in good condition, I think we're just fine. So I picked this up for 30 bucks and it's already profitable. Bit of an impulse purchase at Vintage Stock. I picked up this uh, Jolteon VMAX collection box for $80. Yeah, I, I, I paid up for it. Um, I mean, the alt arts, you get two alt arts in it, like a regular full alt art and then a VMAX alt art. That's the only way that you can get those cards. These boxes, uh, they sell for $90 to $100, the Jolteon boxes do on eBay. And I just saw this in the store, and it was in really, really good condition. I mean, just brand new, pristine, and I felt like I, felt like I had to get it. Evolutions do so well in the uh, Pokemon sealed market, and I just think that that is... A very beautiful set. I've just got to do my best not to open it. Almost pulled the trigger. Uh, somebody was selling a three pack. Like there's a Jolteon, there's an Umber, no Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. There's a like three of the premium collections that came out like just last year, and they've already skyrocketed. They were really hard to get. They were not printed uh, to oblivion like a lot of stuff is in Pokemon. Could have got all three of them for about two hundred and thirty dollars, uh, and hesitated, and it went away. But I feel like this is going to be a really, really good long-term hold, and it just looks beautiful even on display. I mean, because, I mean, I can sit there and I can admire those two cards. These are part of my collection until I sell them to somebody else someday. Hopefully for, you know, $150 or more in maybe a year or so. Fingers crossed, anyway. These are sealed. Uh, I don't really want to open them. Maybe I will throw a picture up on the screen right there that kind of shows you what these exactly are, but... These were on sale at Costco for $20 a box, and I got two sets of them. There's Urshifu, uh, Single Strike, and Rapid Strike in each one of these boxes. There's a total of four boxes, $80 in total. That's a bargain because those boxes retail for like $30, $35 every day of the week. And uh, I picked up four of them because I think they're going to be really good. And I love that they shipped them to me in these boxes because I can just turn around and then ship them out in these boxes. It's going to be a very easy process. As I mentioned, I love buying stuff on Whatnot, and here lately I've gotten, I think, maybe a little bit more into buying graded cards and flipping those instead of doing sealed product, because like you can see an immediate value on graded cards, and a lot of times if you're in these Whatnot auctions, you can get some awesome deals, and it's pretty, I wouldn't say simple, it takes some work, uh, but you can buy a card for you know, 20 bucks and sell it for $60. I did that this week for, for a card. But one of the cards that I bought that's for my personal collection, of course your boy had to get a deal on it. Gengar is my favorite Pokemon, and I picked up his, like, most coveted modern card in a 9.5 CGC Gem Mint. I just love the artwork on that. I think it's a beautiful card, and I have it sitting on my desk currently, and it's just looking at me all day because I just look at it and admire it and get lost as I get sucked up into Gengar's mouth. Last thing to share with you guys, this one is an investment, and I think I'm going to be flipping it pretty quick. The market is so interesting right now on this card. It's the Moonbrion, it's the big dog, it's like the modern card that everybody wants to have right now. It is in a PSA 9, so not quite a 10, but... Uh, this card, I was in a whatnot auction, I was buying a bunch of stuff, and then they are like, ooh, we got some of our PSA cards back, let's see if we have any that we want to sell. They put this baby on the screen for $400, and I was like, I'm pretty sure the raw card is going for $400, because I was actually researching it a little bit earlier that day, and surely enough, they are. Like, the raw cards go for $400 or more. Um, so to get one in a PSA 9 for $400 already slabbed up by PSA, I knew that I was going to be money ahead. I just checked the value the comps on eBay. There's no PSA 9s listed. There are no PSA 9s sold, so I don't really know what to make of the value. 10s are going anywhere from like $800 to $1,200 right now. And I feel like if I could just list this on maybe Facebook and not pay any fees, I don't know. Do you think somebody would pay $700 for that? <laughs> I can list it and see. Like I can always try, but also it's like, is this going to continue going up? I just, I just don't understand why this has gone up so much in the past month because there was a reprint and then a bunch more of them got into circulation there's like i think there's 1800 there's over a thousand psa 10 of this card in circulation so there's not a ton of nines which doesn't mean anything i mean everybody would much rather have a 10 but still i think i'm going to be doing a quick flip on this one uh because i don't know like i other than the Gengar, like, yes, I want to keep the Gengar. He's my boy. I've not pulled that one. I don't really think I'm going to open up any more Fusion Strike. 
I don't really have any sentimental attachment to Umbreon. I don't really know why I have sentimental attachment to Gengar, other than I'm Team, G team Gengar. I'm Team Gengar. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I like him. He's cool. <laughs> Oh, so many thoughts and things running through my mind. So let me know, guys. What do you think was the best thing that I picked up for sealed investment? Would you sell this thing? Would you sell this thing? I'm not selling this thing, so I don't care if you guys say I should sell it. But what do you think I should do with the Umbreon? Should I sell it? Should I hold it? How much is it worth? What should I price it at? What would you do? I want to know. Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Happy buying. Happy selling. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.